steamed hams. What is up guys, it is Isaiah the Vargas, and I'm back with another video. So if you remember about two years ago, I did uh, my big Goosebumps collection. It was a video where I talked all about my Goosebumps collection, and I went over all the books I had. And uh, it's since become one of my most popular videos. I think it has like, I don't know, like 42,000 views? Uh, I'm, I might be wrong, but it has a lot of views. Um, so, it, like I said, it's been about two years, and it's also been about nine years since I started uh, uh, collecting the Goosebumps books and even got into the franchise, so I felt it was only necessary to go over my Goosebumps collection once again, because I've gotten a lot of uh, new stuff, I've gotten a lot of uh, new books, new merch, uh, all that stuff, so today we're going to go over my big Goosebumps collection once again. Let's go. So before we begin, I just want to let you guys know that I have this here. It's my own personal Goosebumps checklist. Uh, I've been using this to keep track of all the books I have, and uh, if you want one for yourself, a Google Drive link is in the description. You can download it and print it out for yourself or keep an online version. Whatever you want, it's there for you. It has all the different book series on there. You can keep track of any book there is. There's probably one on there. And uh, there's also VHS tapes and DVDs on there. So if you want to keep track of your collection, uh, you can download this and it will be really handy. It's been really handy for me. So uh, I'd say check it out. All right, guys. So we're going to start off with the original books here. And also, I just want to mention that although I do have doubles of some books, I'm not going to count them in this video because I feel like it would drag it out a little bit. So I'm just going to be going over every book I have once. Uh, so we're going to start off with the original series. I have all 62 in the original series, but I'm just going to go over them because uh, it's my video and uh, some people might not know all the Goosebumps books. I mean, for those of you who are like that, like, whatever. Anyway, so let's start off. I have Welcome to Dead House. One of the first I actually ever got, actually. Uh, if, and actually, if I'm not mistaken, this is actually one of the first Goosebumps books, actual books I have. So, um, it's retained its, uh, condition pretty well. I have Stay Out of the Basement, Monster Blood, Say Cheese and Die, First of the Mummy's Tomb, I have Let's Get Invisible, Night of the Living Dummy, Girl Cry Monster, Welcome to Camp Nightmare, Ghost Next Door, The Haunted Mask, Be Careful What You Wish For, The Adolescents Came to Murder, The Werewolf of Fever Swamp, You Can't Scare Me, One Day at Horrorland, Why I'm Afraid of Bees, Monster Blood 2, Deep Trouble, The Scarecrow Walks at Midnight, Go Eat Worms, Ghost Beach, Return of the Mummy, Phantom of the Auditorium, Attack of the Mutant, oh, that was out of the way, My Harriest Adventure, Night in Terror Tower, The Cuckoo Clock of Doom, this is the first Goosebumps book I've ever read. I've ever, I've, seriously, this is the first one I ever read. Um, well, in the original series, if you really want to count what the first one I ever read was, it was a Give Yourself Goosebumps, uh, but we'll get back to that later. Uh, Monster Blood 3. Night of the Living Dummy 2, It Came From Beneath the Sink, The Barking Ghost, The Horror at Camp Jelly Jam, Revenge of the Lawn Gnomes, Shocker on Shock Street, 
the Hunter Mask 2. This is another one I've had since the very beginning. I remember picking this up at a New to You Kids, which is uh, probably not a uh, well-known store brand, but whatever. The Headless Ghost. The Abominable Snowman of Pasadena. How I got my shrunken head. Night of the Loon Gummy 3. Bad Hair Day. Uh, Bad Hair Day. Sorry. Egg Monsters from Mars. Beast from the East. Say Cheese and Die Again. Ghost Camp. How to Kill a Monster. Legend of the Lost Legend. Attack of the jack o -Lanes. Vampire Breath. Calling All Creeps. Beware the Snowman. How I Learned to Fly. Chicken Chicken. Don't Go to Sleep. The Blob That Ate Everyone. The Curse of Camp Cold Lake. My best friend is invisible. Deep Trouble 2. The Haunted School. Werewolf Skin. I Live in Your Basement. And finally, Monster Wood 4. Alrighty guys, let's move on to Give Yourself Goosebumps now. Let's start off with Escape from the Carnival of Horrors, Tick Tock You're Dead, Trapped in Batwing Hall, The Deadly Experiments of Dr. Eek, Night in Werewolf Woods, Beware of the Purple Peanut Butter, Under the Magician's Spell, The Curse of the Creeping Coffin, Diary of a Mad Mummy. Deep in the Jungle of Doom. This is the first Goosebumps book I've ever uh, ever read out of the entire series. Uh, Cuckoo Clock of Doom was the first original Goosebumps book, but this was the first one I had ever read. So you can thank that one for getting me in the franchise. Welcome to the Wicked Wax Museum. Screaming Evil Genie. The Creepy Creations of Professor Shock. Please Don't Feed the Vampire, Secret Agent Grandma, Little Comic Shop of Horrors, Escape from Camp Run for Your Life, Toy Terror Batteries Included, The Twisted Tale of Tiki Island, Return of the Carnival of Horrors, Shop Till You Drop Dead, Alone in Snakebite Canyon, and finally, oh, finally, Zombie School. Now on to the Tales to Give You Goosebumps mini-series. I have the first Tales to Give You Goosebumps. I have the second one, More Tales to Give You Goosebumps. I have a reprint of that, More Tales to Give You Goosebumps. I don't count it as a double because it's a reprint. I have the third one, even more Tales to Give You Goosebumps. And I have the fourth one, still more Tales to Give You Goosebumps. Next up, I have the Goosebumps Presents. Uh, I don't have many of these books, but I'll go over the ones I do have. I have The Girl Cried Monster. Welcome to Camp Nightmare. The Headless Ghost. Bad Hair Day. And Monster Club. Alrighty guys, time to move on to uh, Goosebump Series 2000. Sorry. Uh, let's start off with Cry the Cat, which actually still has, hold on if I can find it, still has the iron decal inside. I know that doesn't really matter, but it matters to me. Bride of the Living Dummy. 
Creature Teacher. I have Invasion of the Body Squeezers Part 1 and Part 2. Revenge R Us. Fight Camp. Along came a spider. Uh, not along came a spider. Are you terrified yet? I was reading the this thing. That was, that was Are you terrified yet? Headless Halloween. Attack at the Graveyard Ghouls. Brain Juice. Jekyll and Heidi. Scream School. The Mummy Walks. Return to Ghost Camp. Slappy's Nightmare. And Earth Geeks Must Go. Next up, we're going to do our first round of reprints. Uh, these are the reprints that were released uh, around the early 2000s, I believe. I think like 2004 to 2007, uh, right before they did Horrorland. But anyway, uh, let's start with those. So we have Welcome to Dead House, Stay Out of the Basement, Monster Blood, The Curse of the Mummy's Tomb, Night of the Living Dummy. The Girl Cried Monster. Welcome to Camp Nightmare. The Werewolf of Fever Swamp. You Can't Scare Me. One Dead Horrorland. Deep Trouble. Scarecrow Walks in Midnight. Go Eat Worms. Ghost Speech, Attack of the Mutant, A Night in Terror Tower, The Cuckoo Clock of Doom, Night of the Living Dummy 2, The Haunted Mask 2, How I Got My Shrunken Head, Beast from the East, Say Cheese and Die Again, Ghost Camp, How to Kill a Monster, Attack of the jack o lanterns Calling All Creeps, Curse of Camp Cold Lake, Deep Trouble 2, and finally, The Haunted School. Alrighty guys, now it's time to move on to Goosebumps Horrorland. Uh, this was the series that was uh, still going on when I became a Goosebumps fan. So, I feel like I have the most personal connection with this series, although I honestly would say I like the original more, but whatever. Let's start off with Revenge of the Living Dummy, Creep from the Deep, Monster Blood for Breakfast, hold on a second, Scream of the Haunted Mask, Dr. Maniac vs. Robbie Schwartz, Who's Your Mummy? My Friends Call Me Monster. Say Cheese and Die Screaming. Welcome to Camp Slither. Help, We Have Strange Powers. Escape from Horrorland. The Streets of Panic Park. When the Ghost Dog Howls. Little Shop of Hamsters. Heads You Lose. Weirdo Halloween, The Wizard of Ooze, Slappy New Year, The Horror at Chiller House, and the Welcome to Horrorland Survival Guide. Alrighty guys, it's time for another round of reprints. Uh, this time it's the classic Goosebump series, uh, which was released alongside the Horrorland series and still is going on. Uh, now, with these ones, I'm uh, listing them off in order of when they were, when they were released in the original series and uh, not when they were actually released chronologically. Um, so, they, I know some of these may be out of order in terms of like when they were released, but uh, just keep with me on this. So we have Open the Dead House, Monster Blood, Say Cheese and Die, The Curse of the Mummy's Tomb, Night of the Living Dummy, 
Welcome to Camp Nightmare. The Haunted Mask. Be careful what you wish for. A Werewolf of Fever Swamp. You Can't Scare Me. One Day at Horrorland. Deep Trouble. The Scarecrow Walks at Midnight. Ghost Beach. Return of the Mummy. Phantom of the Auditorium. A Night in Terror Tower. Night of the Living Dummy 2. The Horror at Camp Jelly Jam. Revenge of the Lawn Man. A Shock Around Shock Street. The Abominable Snowman of Pasadena. How I Got My Shrunken Head. Night of the Living Dummy 3. Vampire Breath. The Blob That Ate Everyone. Bride of the Living Dummy, Attack of the Graveyard Ghouls, and The Haunted Car. So next up is Hall of Horrors. Um, I only have three books in the series though. I have Claws, Night of the Giant Everything, and the special edition, The Five Masks of Dr. Scream. Next up, we have Goosebumps Most Wanted. I have Planet of the Long Gnomes, Son of Slappy, Dr. Maniac Will See You Now, Creature Teacher The Final Exam, Night of the Puppet People, and the Special Edition 12 Screams of Christmas. Next up, we have uh, Goosebumps Slappy World. Uh, I have... Slappy Birthday to You, Attack of the Jack, I Am Slappy's Evil Twin, Please Don't Feed the Weirdo, Escape from Shutter Mansion, and The Ghost of Slappy. Alright, so we're going to finish off the books with basically all the miscellaneous stuff I have. This could be stuff from uh, the, a series that's kind of short-lived, stuff from the movie, collections, or just uh, some cool stuff I have. So, uh, I'll start off with the Monster Edition 1, Monster Edition number 2, and Monster Edition number 3. I have the Goosebumps 25th Anniversary Retro Tin, which has uh, Monster Blood, Why I'm Afraid of Bees, A Night in Terror Tower, The Beast, the, sorry, The Beast from the East, and Legend of the Lost Legend. I have. Goosebumps Graphics, Creepy Creatures. Goosebumps Horrorland, Write Your Fright. Another Goosebumps Graphics, uh, Slappy's Tales of Horror. The Goosebumps Monster Survival Guide. Slappy's Revenge. How to draw Goosebumps. I have the Goosebumps Triple Header Book 1 and Book 2. I have... It came from Ohio and it came from New Jersey. The uh, autobiographies of R.L. Stein and Tim Jacobus. I have these Goosebumps books in Espanol. Um, I have five of them. I have Stay Out of the Basement, Monster Blood with a different color scheme, which is uh, interesting. Say Cheese and Die, Night of the Living Dummy, and The Girl Who Cried Monster. Oh, so those are cool. I have the Goosebumps Campfire Collection. I have the Goosebumps Living Dummy Collection. I have the Goosebumps Monster Blood Collection. And then I also have these ones. I have this reprint of Vampire Breath, signed by R.L. Stein. I have uh, a parody Goosebumps book called Goof Lumps, 
not a Goosebumps book. Uh, I guess you can say this doesn't count because it's a parody, but uh, I don't know. I think it. I think it counts. It's Goosebumps related, even if it's just a knockoff. I have the Goosebumps Haunted Halloween movie novel, as well as the movie novel for the first film. I have the Goosebumps Collector's Caps book. I don't have the caps that came with it, I just have the book. Same for the Holiday Collector's Caps, just the book, not the actual caps. I have a reprint of the original Haunted Mask that comes with the Halloween mask inside which is pretty cool. I have this copy of Night of the Living Dummy, the classic Goosebumps, signed by my buddy Goosebumps number one Aussie fan. Go check him out. He also has a new Instagram account called 90s Portal where he talks about all things from the 90s. Go follow him on, on uh, Instagram if you can. I have Goosebumps Wanted, the Haunted Mask. I guess I could have included this with the Most Wanted, but I don't know. And finally, I have the Goosebumps postcard book. Has a bunch of postcards in it. Alrighty, guys, we're gonna move on to Goosebumps VHS tapes. Uh, I have a weird fascination with these because I try to get them whenever I can, but whatever. Anyway, I have two copies of The Haunted Mask. I have A Night in Terror Tower. I have. Stay out of the basement. The Werewolf of Fever Swamp. The Haunted Mask 2. Uh, two copies, actually. See? Uh, I have Welcome to Dead House, which actually has a uh, insert on the inside. It just uh, advertises books and uh, stuff like that. I have Night of the Living Dummy 3, which also has a couple inserts inside. Uh, these ones, there's three of them. This one is for uh, VHS tapes. This one is for a couple of books that were out at the time. And then this one is for the uh, CD-ROM game Goosebumps Escape from Horrorland, which I don't have. Uh, so don't ask me. And then I have the Ultimate Goosebumps VHS tapes. One Day at Horrorland. Werewolf Skin. And... Bride of the Living Dummy and an old story. Now we're gonna move on to my Goosebumps DVDs. I have Welcome to Dead House, The Ghost Next Door, Shocker on Shock Street, Night of the Living Dummy, Monster Blood, One Day at Horrorland, A Night in Terror Tower. Return of the Mummy, Attack of the jack o Attack of the Mutant, and I have the Goosebumps movie on DVD and Blu-ray. Alrighty guys, uh, so we're going to wrap up this video by taking a look at all the other Goosebumps stuff I have. Um, there's a lot of like little trinkets and stuff that I have. Uh, let's start off with uh, this stuff. I have uh, the... Hold on, let me put it right here. I have... The Goosebumps Sounds of Halloween uh, CD. I have Goosebumps the Game on uh, Nintendo 3DS and Nintendo Switch. And I have Goosebumps Horrorland on the Nintendo Wii. So I have all that. Um, then I also have uh, my trusty Slappy Doll. I've had this for uh, about uh, seven years now. And I also added a little uh, pin here, Ghouly. Um, I have uh, three copies of the Goosebumps Shrieks and Spiders games, uh, one of which was given to me by, by um, Goosebumps number one Aussie fan, and he also sent me this Goosebumps Mummy mug, which is pretty cool. I have Goosebumps the board game right here, and the Goosebumps Terror in the Graveyard game. I have this Goosebumps electronic game. Unfortunately, it doesn't work, but it's the only one I could actually find, so it works. I have this, which I made in my digital art class. Uh, it is Slappy's magic words to bring him to life. 
I wanted to put it on uh, my Slappy, but unfortunately he doesn't have any actual pockets to put it in. Uh, so that just kind of sits there. I have these. These are my movie tickets for when I went and saw the Goosebumps movies. This is the one I got for when I saw uh, the first one. And then this is the one I got when I saw the second one. So that's pretty cool. And then here we have my Trick or Treat Studios Slappy replica, which is pretty, pretty cool. Uh, it's costing me about $200, I think, uh, but it's really well worth it. This is a great sculpted, uh, great sculpted thing. I don't know what to call it. It's a standee. I have uh, these over here. These are my uh, book pullouts. These are the stuff you can find inside uh, books, which I got lucky with some of them. I have some Goosebumps bookmarks, these ones are Slappy, some uh, Goosebumps trading cards, and then a Goosebumps Hollow Halloween mask from inside of a uh, werewolf skin. Uh, right about here, uh, if you can see right there under Slappy, I have a Goosebumps trading cards. The entire first set by Tops. And it uh, looks like Slappy was about to topple over, if, if you know what I mean. But this is the first series of the Goosebumps Tops trading cards. It includes stuff like uh, book uh, book cards, which is like uh, three scenes from the books. Uh, there's TV show cards, all sorts of stuff. It's really cool. Uh, I would take it out, but I don't want the cards getting all over the place, so I'm sorry. I have my Goosebumps Haunted Mask, also from Trick or Treat Studios, also really cool. Uh, this was a cheaper than the Slappy replica. It was about $60 to get this mask, but it is really well done. I hope to get some of the other Goosebumps masks. I hear they have, I see they have the um, TV show Slappy mask, they have uh, Attack of the Jack Lanterns, and the other Haunted Mask, uh, the Old Man mask. I have uh, this thing right here, which is uh, my Goosebumps mirror. This was also made uh, from school, and whoop, sorry, uh, I have Goosebumps imprinted out of the mask, on the, out of the mirror, uh, so that's pretty cool. I have my Goosebumps Slappy costume. Uh, this is what I actually wore for Halloween last year. Uh, it's really cool, and it's based off uh, the movie. There's the mask. I also have some Goosebumps posters. I have this one, an 11 by 7 poster of the movie. Uh, the colors are a little faded because I've had it for a couple of years and it's, I think it's kind of sat in the sun for a while, but it still looks cool. Uh, this I also made in uh, my school digital art class. Just a little sign to let people know this is my collection. And then finally, my big Goosebumps video poster. I got this a couple months ago, um, and I forget what the dimensions are, but it's a really cool poster. Um, that's pretty cool. also have this Goosebumps sleeping mask, which, yes, I do occasionally use from time to time. Um, it's pretty cool. It was given to me as a birthday present, so uh, I really like it. It's really cool. And guys, that is my long video on all the stuff in my Goosebumps collection. Like I said, so much stuff in there. I've gotten so much stuff. Uh, like I said earlier, I've been collecting Goosebumps for about nine years now, and it's amazing how much stuff I've gotten in that period of time. But, you know, when you like something, you gotta have all of it. So. <laughs> Um, so thank you guys for watching, uh, if you want to see more uh, updates of my Goosebumps collection, I'll be posting on my Twitter, I'll leave a, a link to that in the description below, and um, that's about it guys, thanks for watching, and until next time, stay steamy.